Peyton and his son Will. Bill honed his craft working for Top 40 pioneer Todd Storrs. At 22, he built a successful FM station in his hometown. To do this, he put up his refrigerator as collateral to buy turntables. Over the years, Bill has shown a tremendous knowledge of artists that he plays. He was one of the first ever to play a kid from Oklahoma named Garth Brooks when nobody believed in him. He's given a foothold to some of Oklahoma's top radio personalities, and of course his son Will, a six-time Marconi nominee, he broke him into the business. Bill, at 71, is still on the air every day. With a devotion to community service across southern Oklahoma, you could say that Bill Payne is the original Prairie Home Companion. Now it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you my friend, Bill Payne. I love it, man. Thank you, Mike, for the introduction. Thank you all. You're my hero and a winner, like everyone here tonight. I'm humbled to be here. Last night at Ronnie Dunn's party, they asked me, as a Hall of Fame inductee, to count down the fireworks that went on there. You know, many of you were there, right? So I did, by starting with, and you can help me with this, five, four, four three, three, two, one. Two, one. Whew. Thank you all very much. I'm humbled to receive this honor. I'm grateful to God, my family, the ones who nominated me for this award, my friends, and all of our employees. I'm also grateful for the opportunity to live in this great country and the state of Oklahoma, where with God's help, you can see dreams, dreams come true. The people I've met in radio have rewarded me with tremendous joy and pride in being a part of an industry that is so much bigger than I am. Did you know that Mike Elder started in radio when he was eight years old as my guest DJ on my radio show when I was just 17? Tunes for Teens. Mike shared with me how friendly and supportive I was to him. Radio was his passion and what he wanted to do his whole life. And is now Michael Elder, Vice President of radio programming for Fox Radio News in New York City. That thrills me just as much as inspiring the country entertainers that I have been blessed to help. I remember the young Reba McIntyre in her emerald green dress. Reba will remember the giant listener appreciation show that we held in Tulsa in 1981. Why? because she had just been discovered by Red Stegall. She, along with George Jones, Red Stegall, Johnny Lee Wills and the boys, Daryl McCall and Speedy West, were on our Tulsa Country Fox 103.3 Listener Appreciation Show. In the Maybe Center, Tulsa, Sunday, March 22nd, 1981. It was a sold out free concert for our listeners. Our biggest show ever, 13,000 plus. I brought along the program too, by the way. No Show Jones. You can see his picture right there. Showed, <laughs> and we sure were glad he did. <laughs> and congratulations to the judge, Naomi and Winona, on your Career Achievement Award. It's good to be here with you ladies. Many thanks to the CRB. You promote country music, like all of you. Our people at our six country radio stations in eastern Oklahoma promote country music. Thank you to my worldwide Idea Bank broadcaster friends. Many of these stations have country formats. The IBIB believes in community involvement. Bud Walters is here tonight of Nashville and is a member of the IBIB supports country music 
and is here with us this evening. Like all of you, Bud is a winner. Another idea bank broadcaster and dear friend, Carrie Simpson, shared this with me. Carrie writes, it is the unselfish feeling that Almighty God gives to people when they have helped others and when someone realizes this and says thanks. What Carrie said applies to all of us here tonight. It's good to see the Judds again this evening, along with Joe Galante and other inductees. What an honor and a time of humbleness for me. It feels good being here with all of you. Today, March 1, is a fulfillment of my dream. My family has made great sacrifices for me to receive this honor. I want to give particular thanks to my wife, Gail, if you wouldn't mind standing, and all my children that are here, too. Would you all stand, please, for family? These folks stood behind me in some very difficult times to make all this possible. Walt Disney said it's kind of fun to do the impossible. To all of you accepting awards and all who have come to celebrate with those inducted are winners too. And it shows. I say to everyone, you've got what it takes, so take it to the top. Being in country music and helping many artists has continuously been my pleasure. You know, life is like an echo. Somebody said we get from it what we put in it, and just like an echo, it often gives us much more. An Oklahoman, Josh Lee, once said, to be seen, stand up. To be heard, speak up. To be appreciated, sit down. <laughs> just like last night at Ronnie Dunn's party, let's count it down, okay? Five, four, three, Two, one, I'm through. <laughs>